Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. And happy Easter! Ooh, ooh. This Easter, we are going to be doing E. Esther Bunny Mun from Rise of the Guardians, which was requested, and I almost did forget to do it. Someone requested it months and months ago, like in 2022. But I told them that I would do it on Easter because Easter, Easter Bunny kind of made sense. And I almost forgot, but luckily I didn't, so I was able to squeeze it in. So let's do this. Disclaimer, E. Esther a Bunny Mun is not Yandarian canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters is fine, as long as you do not be illegal or gross about it, and that you separate fiction from reality. Yandaries are not ideal partners to have in real life, and obviously this is just for fun, again, and not to be taken seriously. Obviously, we are not going to be smashing a giant bunny man thing, even though it would be tempting because the monster fricker in me says, yes, but we are not going to be doing that. Not today, at least. Maybe. Anyways, this is first the headcanon and trait and hopefully a scenario at the end. So stay tuned. Buddymon is a bit of a snarky, dry warrior, Australian and one of of the last of his kinds, he is typically cool, calm, and dry personality. He loves a good rough and tumble and is the protector of nature. Being the guardian of hope and such, he tries to take his job very seriously and does take his job very seriously. He meets you through Jack Frost, who you could see also see as well. And shite did he fall for you right away. You were so full of life and excitement. See, you were in his realm. Uh, see, you were in his realm, and something about seeing you there and seeing you as an adult felt so right to him. He didn't remember you were when you were a child. He met so many kids throughout his life, but he knew you were the one. He needed you. He would be a bit awkward around you at first, but also at the same time a bit confident. It's a non-mix. He also has his basic instincts, which would show how good of a partner and mate he could be for you. He needs to show you that so he can be your mate in more ways than one. So he would definitely start to court you, giving you trinkets of trinkets like jewelry and such, always in little eggs for you of his so you can have them. Also trying to keep you away from the other guardians and spirits and such, especially the Groundhog Day. You don't like that guy. And Jack Frost. He hates Jack Frost. He is so sweet on you and always spends his free time with you. He see he is also extremely the protective type, in which he will do whatever and be wherever he can to protect you from others. You are his and his alone, and he hates how close you are to Jack Frost. Will be the type of Yandere to fight for your honor. Also has a huge rivalry with Jack Frost for you. He would also kidnap you if he had to to try and keep you and try and keep you in his realm so no one can ever take you from him again. He would deal with his rivals mainly by trying to outsmart them. If that does not work, he will take you from them physically. Even if you do not want to be taken, he will still take you. He would confess to you for after a long courtship with gifts, date, and dates, air quotes around dates, and more. If you say yes, he will be over the moon and will be making sh you a little college co uh, and making you a little cottage in his realm for you and him to spend the rest of your days in. Obviously, he would get the man on the moon to make you a spirit as well. Obviously. If you said no, he would say, if you said no, he would say he understands, but not really. Only after really kidnapping you to keep you safe, air quotes around safe, and to court you more. He cannot let anyone get, sorry, he cannot let anyone hurt you and let, or let you get hurt in any way. You will understand with time. And now a little slight not safe to work traits. He would have the adult fun time drive of a rabbit, and so he will want to mate you constantly, 
Also, he would want to get you pregante and such, a.k.a. the way rabbits do, and such. So you can count on a lot of adult fun time in with the maiden and Biden and Markin being a thing where he wants to mark you all over to show the world that you belong to him. Sit Markin as well so that you smell like him and that every other spirit knows that you are his. Connection kink, a.k.a. the fun stuff, where he can also look into your eyes, hold your hands, and has that deep connection with you and feel as if he is bonded with you. Aftercare and snuggling for sure, where he will take care of you and have you snuggled in his chest, which who would not mind? He is so fluffy! I just want to stroke his ear. Okay, okay, Michelle, calm down. Michelle, Michelle, chill. Okay. He would call you his little bunny, and you will be his little bunny regardless of your gender. You will be his little bunny. Oh, and if you cannot have children, and he would still do role play, adult fun time and maiden and all that, he would still make you, obviously, but you would not be able to get the pregante. So you, he would do role playing, getting you pregante. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to follow YouTube guidelines. YouTube, do not strike me down. Anyways, so be a good little bunny for your daddy bunny. Ooh, daddy bunny. Anyways, now on to the scenario, which will not be on my Tumblr or archive of our own, but will just be on YouTube. So anyways, let's do this. And you were in Bunny Mun's realm. You were going to see him after a long, long day. And it was fine. You had a way to get to his place, thanks to him giving it to you. And you looked around. There you saw the Bunny Mun working on his eggs diligently. It was almost Easter, after all. You walk over and wrap your arms around him. Hey, Bunny, you say in his ear, and he chuckles. <laughs> Hello, little bunny, he says and moves around so he can pull you onto his lap. You look up at him and smile. You, he was such a great friend. Ooh, he got friend zone. And he smiles at you. I got a present for you, he says, pulling something out of his little pouch. Whatever the pouch is. Don't know. You look at him curiously and he pulls out something from an egg container, which you knew very well, as he has given you many gifts. You smile at him and open it, twisting it and cracking it ever so slightly. <gasps> Bunny Mun! You say your eyes wide. It was one of your favorite things you had as a child, but haven't had in years. How did you find it? How did you find it? <laughs> How did you find it? You ask him, looking at him wide-eyed. He grins at you and kisses the top of your head. I have my ways, little bunny, he says, looking down at you. You smile and look at it in, with such happiness. This moment was perfect. So, so perfect. And this is when Bunny Mun would confess to you. Uh, so, uh, little bunny, hmm? you ask, looking up at him. I need to tell you something. I mean, I've been courting you for some time. You looked at him confused. What did he mean by courting? You look at him and nod your head just to have him continue. So I was thinking for Easter, maybe you, me, can go on a, you know, a real date, he says, rubbing the back of his head with one of his giant paws. Your eyes widen. Oh, 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 so he felt that way about you. You already had plans to go out with friends on Easter, and you didn't really want to upset him, but he was such a good friend, but you didn't know how it would work out, a human and a spirit. It was, it wouldn't work out. Sorry, Bunny Mun, I just, I can't be with you like that. He stops and looks at you, his nose twitching a little bit. Uh, why do you mean, mean, but little bunny? Well, you are a spirit and I'm a human. I love, and I am a human. You tell him. It would never work out, you know? I'm sorry. You give him back the gift and stand up, going over to where you came. I, I will see you later, bunny man. You tell him and 
make a quick exit. You didn't want to hurt his feelings. You did care for him, and maybe you did have feelings for him, but you didn't want to hurt him. Because one day you would age and you would die. And that would be tragic, and you did not want to hurt him like that. He was too dear to you. Bunnymun was not going to take this at, for a no for an answer, obviously. He knew you were going to be his no matter what. So that night, while you were asleep in your bed, he grabbed a little bit of his chemical drugs from his plants and injected it into your neck. You woke up in shock seeing the bunny standing over you, tall and proud, looking down at you. Your eyes widen and you try to say something, but everything went black so fast. Bunny Mun would make you a spirit. If it's the last thing he do, then you will never, ever leave him. You are his little bunny, and he be damned if anyone take you. Do not worry, little bunny, he says. I will make sure we are together forever. You are mine. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. A little scenario of confession and saying no. It was a little faster because I didn't know what I was doing fully. I didn't have a full idea. And honestly, I did forget about doing this. So I didn't have time to think of it in advance. This was off the cuffs of the hand. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. There will be a holiday playlist at the end for you to check out and announcements. I am going to be starting memberships very soon, so you can check out for memberships, as you know, and check out memberships so you can do all that. Uh, there will be two ninety nine and four ninety nine. Two ninety nine gets you a, like badges and um uh and updates about how I'm doing and stuff with content creation and such, and also gets you what is it called? Uh, emojis, which I got four of them right now because I only can do four at this time. Oh, sorry, a little gas in my chest. Anyways, and also the four ninety nine, which is the other stuff where you get two more, which is early access and uh, membership polls only. I might move that down to the first one though, so I do not know. But you'll definitely get early access as a uh, pay a uh, member in the 4.99 tier. Also, there will be my Patreon public where you still have to prove that you're an 18 because it's my Patreon's 18 and older. But if you do ha prove that you are, you will sometimes get not safe for work content. But that will be as that will be as if you can prove it, and it will be slower, but it will be extra without me getting paid for it. So it's basically extra for you guys. Anyways. Back to the outro. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Uh, no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot the Patreon. Patreon outro. Thank you, Gav. You have been so supportive. And honestly, you're becoming a really good fan. And so is Wicked Brony. You both are just so wonderful. Thank you, Gav. And Wicked Brony, my second patron. And um, the second lowest tier, Wicked Brony. Thank you. You're also becoming a good friend. And honestly, I care about you both. And really appreciate you both. So thank you and happy Easter to both of you. And happy Easter to the rest of you. I hope you all had a great time. I'm going to be having just pork chops because my mom just got out of the hospital and I don't want to cook a whole ham dinner for myself and she can't be having salt because of her heart. Oh, and thank you for everyone that had good prayers. She made it home. She's able to make it up the stairs, which is 16 steps. And it's really hard on her legs because she needs knee replacements, but she can't get in until she gets bottom floor. It's just, it's just a mess. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. Remember, check out the playlist below. Make sure you're still subscribed and that you have notifications on if you want to see more content around like this. And I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins, and have a super sexy Easter. Sexy bunny. Anyways, happy Easter and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.